Hey everybody, in this video we're gonna go and fly the dolphin out here in my little uh, fun area that I have. I'll give you a quick view of the plane, quick setup, and show you the spot, and then we'll fly. This is my twin dolphin. We uh, run this on a 6S ZOHD pack. We're gonna be using my Radio Master Boxer. This is ELRS, and our video system will be a stock O3 air unit and some DJI goggles too. Uh, you guys can check out all my other videos on how I set this up, but now she's dialed in and I'll give you a quick uh, view of the spot. I don't know if the camera is picking up the wind right now, but it's a little windy, but this thing just rips. So this is my, this is my area that I fly in. Uh, telephone pole stop right there. And I got this whole beautiful little area to fly in. There's a creek over there and I'm on top of the hill. So should be fun. Let's start the video. And we are off. This plane is flying really well. I can fly it in heavy wind, doesn't matter, it just goes. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm just flying in angle mode. I'm letting my servos continuously adjust right now. Um, I always do this for just a little bit and just this trims the plane out. Checking my return to home. I've got all my throttle and cruise settings adjusted now. But just checking out everything, all right. And then now we are back in angle. We're in cruise, we're checking cruise. So this is my minimum cruise uh, throttle and everything is good. Like the thing is just feeling great. I feel like I can take it anywhere now. Don't have to worry about losing it. And we're heading back into manual. And now we're gonna set this thing about 15 amps and we're gonna go rip. It's kind of nice right now. None of the corn and beans are up. The plane turns well, like it just flies really, really good. Like I said, I'm just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna hover the throttle percentage. I'm gonna I'm gonna slightly creep it up a little bit too to like around 50%. And at this speed, I can pretty much do do whatever I want. Here's that little creek I like to hover over, and I'm up to the left on the top at the top of that road. And you're gonna see I got a couple of GPS speeds. See right now I'm cruising at. 70% so the wind is blowing from the right to the left so the winds blowing from my car across the street and there I am boom Just hovering over the ground right now just flying I've been really just trying to see just how stay and it's stable and I think the reason that the, the craft that this dolphin is so much more stable at higher speeds that's fun is it weighs more so it doesn't get pushed around I guess I don't know yeah this is a fun little area I can pretty much fly I can pretty much hover over the water right there over the over this little creek and I still have signal I'm just running it low so if you look at the top, my ESCs are staying at 75 degrees, no problem. The ESCs are not getting hot whatsoever. Uh, the flight controller though, is getting a little toasty. Uh, I need to, if anybody knows what the temperatures for a flight controller are in Celsius or Fahrenheit, let me know. Flying inverted, dude, she flies good. Like I can, I can go at night, I was like, oh shoot some birds, there we go. I was like, I don't wanna mess with them. <laughs> See you later. So I might have to get more venting, but 
and maybe at 120 something degrees, it'll be fine. And that's pretty much where it stays. And again, I'm just, I've had the throttle set at 50% for the most part, and I'm pulling anywhere from 15 to 17 amps this whole time. Going up. See, I can just go up. It doesn't matter. Turn around. It's just such a fun plane. That top right is my max GPS speed. And you'll see I have 3D speed. So if you don't know what 3D speed is, if I climb straight up vertically, I don't really have ground speed. So it's it's using a combination of ground speed and my climb rate and all that to determine what my 3D speed is. There's those birds. Say, see ya dudes. And I'm just trying to keep this thing low, trying to feel what the ground effect will do to the plane. And uh, it's just a blast. You know, we're at 50% throttle going 60 mile an hour. This was pretty much like, I can't remember what it was on my older Dolphin, but it was pretty close to wide open. I mean, and that was on 4S. I mean, it's t completely different. I almost think that uh, I'm gonna put my head tracking unit back on this and put a full pan and tilt setup. Now, if you make it to the end of this video, uh, you're gonna see I actually hit the ground and survive. I hit the ground for like a second and I pull up out of it and everything was fine. I could not believe it. You know, when I get this on a knife edge, it holds pretty well too. Of course, I can't do nothing because I don't have a rudder, uh, but it holds well. And I just use these little grass paths as, as like my, uh, my little road course. And another thing that you can't tell is that it's blowing like, whoa, right there, that was it. So now I'm like, oh, what did I do? Okay, the camera isn't vibrating. Uh, switch this to angle. You're like, yeah, that one's, that one's still there. That one's still there, even though I can't really see anything else. And then I'm like, all right, sounds good. Speeds are the same. It's not shaking real bad. So it can survive. I would love to go underneath that bridge right there. But I'm a chicken. It just, it flies so good. And I'm in manual, like I'm flying this thing in manual this whole time. There's no, there is no um, stabilization. That's a cool shot. Just kind of just bringing it over. Just dipping it. Flying in manual this whole time. Uh, keep an eye on the top. Cell voltage is still good. Now this is a lithium ion pack, not a lipo. So I can bring this down to 2.9, 2.8. So now I'm trying to push the plane over inverted, and I'm just, just trying to figure out where these limits are. But definitely, definitely happy with this plane. I like it better. I just took me a minute to get used to it. I like this plane. I like this setup better than the other Dolphin. And, uh, and I don't know, just because it's different, I'm guessing. I'm starting to get bored. Um, I just love the 
the power. Just love being able to get out of anything. Climb. See, I just keep doing these, these rolls and flips or whatever you want to call them. I'm sure there's all sorts of technical terms. I don't know them yet. I'm a newbie. Like I say, this is one. This is after one year of having a plane. I, I've never, and I still don't, never had a drone, a quad. Never had one. Only flown like toy ones, like from Walmart. That's it. And yeah, it just, it just pulls. See, I got a little close to the ground right there. So now we're at 10 minutes of flight time. The timer started when I armed the plane. And uh, so we're down to 3.18 volts. And once I back the throttle off, you'll see the voltage will go back up. Uh, which I just did right there. So the only thing that took me a while to get used to this plane is that it's just heavy and I have to fly it faster. Especially after having many swordfishes, um, it just, you just gotta tell yourself, you gotta go faster. And you know, you, you know me, I preach on street landing and uh, you know, at this plane having a street makes it nice. Now, and again, it, it tracks so well. And I don't know if that's just because the weight increase or the dual motor or a combination of both, but the, tr the plane just flies well. It flies so well. Winds, sidewinds. I'm landing in a, I'm landing with a crosswind right now. Uh, and you'll see here, we get up on the road. So now I'm figuring out my speed. I'm down to 38% throttle. I'm pulling eight and a half amps. So four and a quarter on each each motor. So each motor is just pulling four amps. Slowing this girl down. It looks like the flight controllers stabilized at about 127 degrees Fahrenheit. And so here we go. And so I'm landing in Acro right now as well. If you saw the mode change or maybe I'm not I'm like well you know what let's uh let's try this one more time <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the best way I normally would land this off I normally always would land in either angle or horizon I don't really like horizon um, uh, this is my personal preference. Uh, angle seems to be pretty good. I need to add more, so I'm back in angle right now. It flies well. It flies well in both these modes. Like it is just, I have everything dialed in, especially with the PID tuning. So we're gonna come back around, nice and slow. I was like, I gotta do a decent landing for everyone to see on YouTube. So we're flying into the wind right now. And I'm gonna kind of stay to the left here and then put it on the street here at the last moment. Still in angle mode. And I'm like, here we go. Nice. Slippy slide. And that is it. Finally, a decent landing. <laughs>